What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Jamie Apocalypse here, and we are back with some more Monster Hunter Stories 2 Wings of Ruin. Now, I believe. Oh. Sorry, I thought I was going to sneeze. Uh, I believe last we left off, um, we had just come back from assisting with killing some. It was the Mitsuzun, and I forget the name of the one with an L. Either way, they look like really cool creatures. The one looked like you combined a, um, a ferret, a 30,000 volt taser, and like a dragon all in the one. And the other one just looked like a damn lizard that shot electricity. And now we are supposedly making friends with the, uh, what the hell are they called? Felines. There we go. And I believe now we have to go help and kill the Mitsutsu, possibly? I just... I, I don't remember because I think it ran last time and we never truly killed it. So it just disappeared off to God only knows where. So I'm going to buy myself some items here and we can get on our way out the door. And I believe we have Kyle here and his uh, feline... I forget what the hell her name was. Um, helping us as well, so that'll be nice. So uh, give me a couple seconds to buy some stuff and get myself on my way. And I will see all you great people out there. Oh, something's up here. What do we got? Well, so far all I'm seeing is big ass fucking trees. I mean, they might be happy little trees, but I'm not sure. Oh, wow, this place is beautiful. Yeah, this seems like a boss fight area. Alright, where are you at? Another pit. Damn it. Just when I thought I got away from him. Of course they're giving us another pit. What's gonna be here? Is it gonna be like some like Loch Ness monster style shit? Bubbles! Let's blow on bubbles. Bubbles. Okay, I don't get it. What's so dangerous about bubbles? This must be what the felines were talking about. It's a Mizutsune! Alright, it is the Mizutsune! The bubbles! Talk about blowing bubbles! And I don't mean that in a weird way. It's it's rage oh! Kyle. Okay! Uh, note to self, bow and arrow is not effective against this thing. And there he goes by! Let's fuck this shit up! Fuck! I don't remember what its movesets are! Alright, so we're dealing with a Rage Raid Mitsutsu. I swear this damn thing is a techie, but I, I might be Speedo. Haha! -ha! Thank you, Kyle. Oh, I killed it? Fucking egg, I didn't think I was gonna! Blowing bubbles is finally dead! Bubbles is dead! Oh no! Maybe it's not! She says something's not right. I don't like that. It's never a good sign if it says something's not right. What's happening? I don't like this. Um, I got back up. Oh, hey, I'm up there. Don't you dare. Motherfucker, I just brought you back. Don't you leave me. Oh, he's gonna make a choice. Just believe. It can. Motherfucker has hops. Oh, nice shot. Oh no. I think uh, Bubbles is going to be blowing the ground soon enough. Yeah, Bubbles is going to be blowing the ground. Bubbles ain't blowing no more. Also, secondly, how did that not hurt anybody else? Did you see the size of that explosion? That was like a SAR bomb or something. 
Also, I thank you, Kyle, for actually believing. Thanks for the backup, Kyle. You're one cool cat. There's but he's... so much I don't understand. Huh? What kind of power does Rather really have? He has the power Why of the likes. Pits appearing. And who are those people who want to take Ratha for themselves? Many questions. All I have are questions. But no answers. But I know this. How powerful your bond with Ratha is. And you know, power can stand against a strong enemy. I'm <laughs> thankful for once in my life that the guy's not an asshole. Yeah, it seems like a marriage scene out of everything. We'll keep looking into the pits. You got the nice perspectives can't hurt. That's the way I see it. Ah, uh, yeah, sure you are. You, you, you kind of just wants to Let's brush everything back. off. Also, I just realized his Humans bow's made really out of a surprises. fucking royal monster. Sometimes it feels like you change in the blink of an eye. I think. You've grown a lot too, you know, since I first met you in Mahana. You've gotten so much stronger. Does that mean I get the sucky sucky for one bucky? <laughs> God, there's something wrong with my mind. It's an enigma. I have a friend of Kyle metal. Yay! I'm friends with Kyle. Okay! Um, you know, to be honest, I was expecting like something worse. Maybe like something bigger to maybe emerge from the pits. Because that thing just appeared out of freaking nowhere. So there's got to be something that causes them. So maybe... Wait, hang on. That's a fucking... What the hell is underneath that is creating that big of a hole? Because if... If we end up facing whatever the hell's in the pits... Oh! That's gonna be, um... The hell's the shiny? I hear shiny. Where is shiny? ADHD mind spinning. Where is shiny? Oh, it's a bug. Shiny bug. But like I said, if whatever's in those pits is as large as those damn holes, one can only hope for mercy. Speaking of which, comment down below what you guys think is in the pits. Because to be honest, I am not sure if it's the creature that they showed in the flashback with Anna watching my grandfather die, where it was the... What was it? Negagante, I think? Nergigante? I don't remember. But uh, comment down below what you guys think the creature is that's in the pits. And I will meet you guys back at the um, feline shelter after I figure out my way out of this bewitching maze. Anywho, about Ratha, another feline told me a real doozy of a story. Oh, we're talking about Ratha. Yeah? What you got? What you got I for a story? I don't know if it had those destructive wings, but a long time ago, there was a Rathalos with an unbelievable power. Oh, yeah, really? Its legend is written on a monument in some old village. Probably Ruto. So are they talking about Ruto village? Where's the village? Beyond the Turga Volcano is what I heard. Maybe you can figure out something about Ratha there. We're going to a volcano. A volcano. We're talking the same thin, pointy, well, thin, flat rock. Goes up about a couple hundred feet, spews out molten lava, right? Okay. We gotta check this out, buddy. Hmm. There's a village called New Arte in that region. But I've heard it's even more secluded than Ruto. There's a village next to the volcano? I'm sorry, but that's suicide. We gotta go, right? It's our best bet for learning about Rafa. I mean, yeah, but I don't really want to take the aspect of singed, melting flesh as a uh, fun one. True. This is no time for dithering. Let's go. Thank you for telling us, Orgo. Yeah, thanks. I'm gonna sweat my ass off now. Time to split up, it would seem. We'll continue our investigation on the pits. Oh, you guys have your fun. We'll be sure to let you know if we procure any new intel. All right. Okay, got it. 
Watch out for the masked riders who are after Ratha. Stay alert. It still makes me question who those guys are, because you have the ones with the skull mask, which I thought looked fucking awesome. Absolutely awesome. Sukino, let's move out. Oh, Sukino, that's the name. Couldn't think of it. Yes, let's go. So long for now. Ta ta. We better get going too. Agreed. I can take you as far as the volcano. Give me a holler when you're ready to go. Will do. I'm going to a volcano. Definitely gonna need this. You're gonna use Coolman. Okay, I like that. I like the aspect that they they kind of set the environmental factors to add into a game. So, like for instance, when we were in the snowy place, which was Lavina. My brain can't think, but the area where all the snow was and whatnot, that village, you had to use the hot mist to keep yourself warm. So now you gotta use cool mist. But my question is, what did they use for hot mist? Did they use something from the lava area? Uh, what is Raised Wing Wrath? Well, I mean, he's a Rathalos. What's causing the light from the pits of why? I mean, yeah, we are chasing quite the legend. Um, where the hell's Orgo? And uh, maybe we can get up there and I can get myself some new armor. So I will meet you guys up by the... Uh... Oh, shit. I forgot the name already. Tuane Village or something. Neatsu. And off we go. Um, one thing that I can kind of say is a bit odd in the game. Is the aspect of like... I'm in an open area right now. But I can't fly myself. But at the same point in time, they created creatures so you could break through rocks, but these ones I have to use explosives? Not to say that, like, I'm against the way that they wrote it. By all means, I, I support this game 110%. If I give it the fucking... Um, out of 10 score, I think I'd give it the full set. 10 out of 10. I definitely would play again. It's one of the things that got the gems. Oh, we're almost at the summit. I swear to God, Naviru, you jinx my ass, I'm gonna kick your ass. Because you just said it's always when we get to the top that we get attacked. The path to the village is just past the volcano. Let's keep it moving. Okay. I swear to God. Hmm. I used to be the one giving directions to the team. Now, now you're getting jealous. Show us the way, Sarge. <laughs> well, let's say it seemed like he was gonna get jealous. Um. It's an Ergon. An Ergon. What? Trouble. Huh? Hey, are you off your rocker? I know this monster like the back of my eye patch. I'm sure of it. Sarge, behind you! Don't worry, I'm perfectly capable of. Taking a bulldozer to the back. Hey, blow, Pete! It's rolling way more than it normally does. <laughs> He's riding it like a log. Time to jump in, buddy. I swear to God, Navy Root, you jinx me one more time. Be expected though. Ratha? What did I say? I said we're going to hurt him. Not we're gonna play with our food, we're going to hurt him. That's why you do what I tell you to do. Because every time you attack, you screw it up. <laughs> There's the level ups I needed. Pep talk. I'm horrible at those. I did a speech class in college. I sucked at it. It felt horrid. Oh, no. oh my Are god. My fucking armor. <laughs> I look ridiculous. I look like a Noibat from fucking Pokemon. Not a scratch. You know I always land on my feet. Well, I mean, you were rolling on him going forward. I'm dealing with blowing bubbles and fucking rolling boulders. But now's no time for lollygagging. This path leads to the foot of the volcano. Don't tell me the village is at the foot of the volcano. Okay, let's get moving.
Also, who the hell would build a village? Aren't you coming? Tell me he hurt himself. This is as far as I go. Good luck, partner. Oh, you're just leaving me. Sorry. I've got a family to look after. Can't take unnecessary risks like I used to. Besides, you got a new partner. I mean, he is technically the mayor of the cat area, so makes a sense. A new pot. <laughs> oh God, it's weird. I can yeah, see my eyes again. I forgot I had the heterochromia thingy. Okay. Until we meet again. I confuse the fuck out of myself. I'm like, why am I seeing different colors? Go and do all the things we dreamed of, partner. Travel the world. It's also just hilarious how he's got the stick in his mouth like a cigar. I will. It's a promise. Go out there and be positively claudacious and, uh, uh, nothing. And, uh, formidable feline, right? God damn it, they finished it. Oh, I hate every time he says it to begin with. Well, look at that. You remembered after all. Fucking hey, must be there's a couple marbles knocking around up there. Yeah, I did. I just couldn't bring myself to say it. Like before. <laughs> well, well. Positively claudacious formidable felines. That's us. I swear to God, if my one friend who kept, who said the damn sentence I wanted to kill him, if he says the whole one after watching this, oh, someone's gonna die. So if you guys see me on the news, just know it, um, I'm, somebody might be dead. Time to head out with my new partner. Yes, the guy who's dressed in a fucking kimono <laughs> and a noibat who I skinned alive and put on my skull. Until next time, Sarge. <laughs> Off we go! That's why I love how the creature's just laying there dead. Like, I'm not gonna harvest it for anything. Just gonna love it. Let it go. Alright! Now let's get to Nuate Village. I knew my fucking squirrel brain could remember once it was put in front of me. Then again, I can't even remember the color of my shoes. Am I wearing shoes? No, I'm wearing socks. So I'm surprised anything low. Oh my Jesus. That's a lot of pits. What's happening? Things just keep getting worse. Huh. Huh. Partner, look! It's a Rathalos. What's he doing here? What the hell fucking injured him? If those are scars. What could have happened? What the hell did this? Well, that don't sound good. Well, that's another one. Oh, it's losing its shit. Quick, partner! <laughs> A voice. Can you hear it? Yes. Huh? Wait. It's like a cry for help, almost. So that's quite the pile of smoke. Must be smoking the bong. Oh, what in the forbidden fucking flashlight is that? Um, excuse me. That was a fucking penis if I've ever seen it. Yeah, that's a penis. That's a butt plug. That is a very scary butt plug. Excuse me, sir. I would not like to be a delicacy. Don't you lose your shit on me, boy. I'm not getting eaten by a butt plug today. Oh, hell no! Uh, 
the fuck was that? Oh! Hit him again! Motherfucker, go back down your hole! Yeah, you stay away! Thank you, whoever the fuck you are. That was a close one. Everyone okay? Oh! Who the hell is Cheval? Gonna have to introduce me, cause... I just almost got eaten by the forbidden butt plug and got attacked by a rolling oh. boulder Is and also killed Bubbles. We're not just friends, we're best buds. Me and Cheval go way back. Right, Cheval? Yeah. You seem very, uh... Anyway, that thing that pulled the Rathalos into the pit, was that a monster? No, 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 that was the forbidden flashlight from hell. That was the Pandora's box special. Yes, but we still haven't discovered its true form. Motherfucker, if that's not its true form, I don't want to know what its true form is. <laughs> its true form? The strange phenomena happening around the world, all the destruction, that monster is responsible for it. The hunters and the Scriveners are blaming it on Ratha. But it's not his fault. I know. Lilia told me. Excuse me? Huh? You talked to Lilia? Yeah. I stopped by the Scrivener's Lodge. She's the one who asked me to find you. Really? She was worried about us? Motherfucker seemed like she was a stuck-up snobby bitch and didn't want anything to do with us beforehand. She felt guilty for not believing in your bond with your modesty, even after everything she knows. Huh. It's about time. So she's finally come around, huh? I knew she wouldn't let us down. She said, seeing you fly away with Ratha reminded her of old times. What, she used to have a monster herself? You know, we've seen firsthand the kind of miracles riders and monsties can accomplish together. Um, I mean, yeah, I got myself a whole harem of bitches and then just almost got eaten by a sex toy. So yeah, there's a lot that I can accomplish. Meanwhile, why does that thing look Miracles. evil as fuck? Yeah, you're right. A monster knows what's in their rider's heart. That's the reason why Ratha comes to your aid. He cares about you. Motherfucker did not come to my aid when I was about to get eaten by a sex toy. A living sex toy. That motherfucker stood there and just gave no fucks. What are you going to do now? I'm in the middle of tracking a Nergigante. I don't want to go after that. I just got almost killed by the forbidden sex toy. A Nergigante. Like when red. But why are you after it? It's been attacking settlements lately. There have been quite a few casualties. That's awful. So you're looking for revenge? I don't think he's looking for revenge, per se. I think he's just trying to stop it. No. I learned a long time ago to stop hating monsters. You hated them before? You used to hate them? Fucking took the words out of my mouth. It's a long story. Let's just say I let my emotions get the better of me and lost track of what was really important. Um, I didn't. I kept my life and the sex toy went back into the hole. It's all that matters. I see. Do you have an idea where you'll look next? No. I've kind of hit a wall. Uh, but you're out in the old. You know what? I'm not going to take things literally. Well, we're heading to Nuate Village to find out about the Raiswing Ratha legend. Why don't you tag along, Cheval? Nuate? I've only heard rumors about it. Is it somewhere around here? Yeah, probably. Probably? That's always reassuring. You don't mind me coming? Ah, uh, hell no. More the merrier. Not at all. We'd be happy to have you. Motherfucker, you better not be cheating on me. Sounds like a plan. Let's hit the road. Why couldn't we just hit the skies? It would be a hell of a lot easier to just fly away. 
From what Sarge said, the village should be in sight any minute now. But, uh, there doesn't seem to be a village here at all. Oh? Hey, what's up, Ratha? You sense something? Let me guess. It's at the top of the rocks. Oh. Let's go. You I mean you're telling me I couldn't have just surveyed it from up above? Okay, now that's cool. Flying side by side for a cutscene. No. Okay, now I like the versatility of this portion of the map. It's kind of cool because there's like an area up here, down here. This is intruders. God damn it! Why is everyone my kill? Place easily stumbled upon by travelers. How did you find your way here? This Rathalos led the way. My friends are riders. We've come seeking knowledge about Rathalos, Lord. Riders? Led here by a Rathalos, you say? Who the hell's this woman? God, she's got a lot of makeup on. Please, leave this to us. We do not yet know if these outsiders mean us harm. Worry not. You are with me as well. Your journey so far has not been an easy one. And yet, the end is not within sight. Is that like a reference to how far the game's got left? Because... Now, young I... riders, you wish to hear of a legend? Yes. We heard you have a mural depicting a Rathalos with terrible destructive power. We think it may give us a hint as to what's happening in the world right now. What gives you that idea, child? It's the only clue we have. Please, we need to find the truth before everything is brought to ruin. I mean, yeah, if everything is brought to ruin by a forbidden bud plug. I'm... You know, I can think of better ways to go out, uh, but eaten by forbidden living butt plug is not one of those. Ruin, you say? And you? Do you share their goal? Me? I'm looking for a Nergigante that might have been around here. You wish to hunt this monster? Not if I can avoid it. I just want to know why it's been acting this way. Monsters don't just attack villages for no reason. But that's exactly what this Nergigante's been doing. But why? I have a feeling it's hunting something. Huh. Quite an interesting human you are. What, are you not human? Oh, wait, they said Wyverian. So they're elves of sorts. Very well, child. You may see the mural and decide for yourselves what the legend holds. I find it very odd how, like, they were sketchy in the beginning and now they just trust me Thank no matter you. what. Unfortunately, the way there is open to none. Um, English? Huh? I don't get it. What gives? Sorry to interrupt, but the Nergigante was spotted at the volcanic gates not long ago. And there, you see, is the reason we cannot access the shrine. Our moral code forbids us from fighting monsters. God damn it. Would you allow us to deal with it instead? You may certainly try. Well, child? I'll go too. Are you sure about this, Yumlana? Her actual name is Yumlana. It's a very odd name. We cannot remain impartial observers forever. Perhaps the time has come for us to embrace new customs. She reminds me an awful lot of like the original Clone Wars. Like episodes one, two, or movies one, two, and three an awful lot with the Queen Amidala. New customs? Rathalos have disappeared from these lands as well. Just the way she speaks in the tone. So, the dead one we saw was... In order to put its soul to rest, it is imperative to find the truth that you seek. I, I think I found the truth that I seek, but I don't want to go back down those holes, because the ground looked like Swiss cheese. Come to the village. I will show you how to reach the volcanic gates from there. Oh, that's kind of cool. 
The village is built into the rocks. I was expecting like some obsidian thing, not like an area of like greens. Wow. Hey, fucking beautiful. Put it at least. This reminds me of like a fucking Japanese or Chinese shrine style shit. You know, Ruto Village has got to step up their game, man. Upon reaching Nuate Village, surrounded by secrecy. Oh, shrouded in secrecy. You are told the location of monument, but of course the fucking Nergigante is in my way. Alright. Um, wow, this place is... It's amazing! Was my house over here? Wow, I got my own house and fucking everything and it's right next to the stables. You had to put me near the filthy monsters. Alright! So we've now figured out that you have the forbidden living penis worm going throughout the land, making the holes, and it eats the Rathaloses like lunch. It also tried to eat me for lunch. So now, we have to fight the Nergigante to get my ass all the way up to the shrine to go see what's up there about Ratha, and then hopefully we can bring the fucking worm to justice. And via the way she said it, the worm is not its true form. Which makes me really afraid of what its true form is. And secondly, that worm was not even nearly a quarter of the size of the holes that were in the ground. So how the fuck does that tiny worm create such a big fucking hole? Puzzling and puzzling. Well, um, if you guys haven't already, hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, comment down below what you guys think the, um, Forbidden Butt Plug's true form is, and I, myself in my, uh, Noibat costume here, and, uh, everybody else here, will see all you great people in the next episode. Bye bye